What's up guys, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and in this tutorial I want to teach you how you can select which areas of whatever model you have are gonna be like uh, torn apart with cloth um, so I don't know if you've seen there's a lot of commercials man vs machine have done some really cool ones where you have a shoe and like the skin is ripped from it um, so how do we go about doing that? Let's have a look. So I run this model from Scan the World. Um, I've shown you in multiple other tutorials like where I grabbed these models for testing on the mini, the mini factory and Scan the World. Uh, and I've poly reduced it to like much lower resolution just so that we can work with it. And just like I showed you on my tutorial explaining how to fracture cloth or tear, tearing cloth, um, I use an edge fracture here. But what I'm doing just if you haven't seen the other tutorial is I'm grabbing a grid and I am copying the grid and rotating it randomly then here with this transform I basically place the grid wherever I want the geometry to be fractured so you can kind of move it around and, uh, and pick kind of which areas this doesn't have to be a grid this doesn't have to be the way that I'm doing it it can be any kind of geometry um, for you to move around and uh, based on this geometry, fracture, um, basically tear the cloth. So this is kind of my base. And if we use an edge fracture, you will notice that it has two inputs. So if we see here, fracture curves, you can use the second input for this. And um, I am, increasing the amount of pieces and then if you select primitive piece here on the output and you click this uh, it'll show you the way that the pieces are being broken so you will see that at the bottom i'm having larger pieces because of the way that i place this thing here uh, the bottom part as you can see doesn't have as much geo so if we make this a little bigger then we're gonna get fractures uh, you know more all over the place let's have a look and there we go okay so this is a really useful way for you guys to control which areas have and don't have uh, fractured pieces of cloth so the second thing that we need to do and that I'm doing here as a demonstration is how do we uh, say okay this part is active and this part is not active so I like to use color um, it doesn't have to be color you can literally directly here transfer the attribute so like I said it doesn't have to be color but it's great for visualization so I have a red sphere and a black piece of geometry and I'm transferring the color here so here if we come here into the attributes we select color and in the conditions you can control the threshold like this so on this piece, um, for example, let's say that we only wanted like this part of the geom, this part of the like half half of it to be kind of like torn apart. Let's do something like this. Let's come here and do a little bit of blend. So that half of the of the piece is gonna be torn. Now we have a color, right? Now we can use a color to drive an attribute. So I'm saying if the color value is less than a point one, then the mass is gonna be equal to one. What it means is like if the mass is zero, then Vellum doesn't do anything. But if the mass is one, then Vellum does act. So let's have a look at what happens when we do that. So that's one thing we need to, that's gonna control Vellum, but we also need to control the pieces. So you wanna drop down a Vellum cloth. That is the first thing you do. I haven't changed any of the parameters here. Then you wanna do a Vellum weld. And the Vellum weld is basically going to stitch the pieces that we fractured. But on the villain world, you want to come to breaking, enable it, and the threshold 
controls like how much force before the thing breaks. Then you drop a Velm Solver and you come in and add a pop force or whatever force you want and I added a 11 force with a little bit of amplitude so that I can blow it with the wind. And let's see what this gives us. So as you can see, we see that the red part is the part that is active and some of the points reach that threshold so they get ripped apart. Um, so yeah, I think that this, this shows the idea and this is a really interesting thing to see um, because imagining the possibilities um, because of the way that we're fracturing it you can see the incredible amount of detail that you would get here um, and just for the sake of showing you guys something else let's just make sure that we randomize our pop force is a little bit using a simple expression so if we middle click here we'll see that force is called uh, actually, we want to randomize the amplitude, which the name of it is AMP for amp. So we do amp is equal to 501 rand at PT num between a 0 and a 15. And the source of operation is left to right, so we do a pop drag merge. And on the drag, we're also going to do an expression, and we're going to say air resist is equal to fit zero one and that fit zero. Zero and two. Let's see what this gives us. So definitely a different result and pretty cool to play with. Um, all right guys, I hope you like this quick tip and um, I'll be back with more.